So this is the beginnings of my website and I've decided that I want a navigational bar on the top there. So I'm going to show you how to do that in Zara Web Designer 6 from scratch. So the first thing you'll need to do is create what the button itself will look like. And I like to do that off from the main area down here. So we'll just create a little square and it's warned me that I'm working in a in the mouse over area which isn't good so I'll just delete that what I just did and then make sure that I'm in the mouse off area so here's my button and I'm gonna texture that so that it is a linear gradient and I'll zoom in a little bit and just change the gradient so that it matches more what's going on with my theme I'm going to want a nice crisp edge on the outside so there's my button maybe I won't have the rounded edge just have it be a hard square the next step is to actually name that button. So I'm going to apply the name of button for nav. I'll just call it button. And add that. Close it. Now I'm going to add some text in here. And let's just call it button. And I like to center the selection there. Just move it around so it's where we want it. So now what we'll need to do is name that to button text. So select the button and the button text by holding down shift and go up here in the grouping area and group it together. So now it's one unit. So now what we'll do is copy the group, go over to mouse over, and then I like to paste in place. Now go to mouse over and go into solo mode so that we just have the button visible. Click on this pasted on button area, go into your group area and ungroup it so that we can adjust the values on the button itself. I'm going to adjust it so that the end, none of the start color of the gradient is a little bit darker so that it has a nice mouse over effect. So I'll close that. Now I'll just make sure to click the button and the text and regroup it. So now go get out of solo mode and then select everything so that that's got the mouse off state and the mouse over state selected. And what we're going to do is do a soft group. And what that will allow us to do is to mm -hmm. hide the mouse over state and on the mouse off when we move it down to where we want the buttons the nav bar to be uh, you'll see that the overstate goes with it so now for the button itself we're going to want it to actually do something so we go down here to web properties and link to page and this is where you'll define what you want the button to do I'm just going to pick next page just as a filler apply that click OK and now that we have our button functioning correctly, uh, we can test that. There's our nice button and it works. We can go into the interface that allows us to do a navigational bar. And it's as easy as clicking add. And this is a fancy new button. 
and uh, all the buttons will be the same width as checked right here but if you don't want that you can uh, have it so that uh, buttons with lots of text get are wider than the buttons without lots of text and so if I click OK and then just move that it moves around as a whole which is very nice and um, when I preview it I have my navigational bar up here and the cool thing about navigational bars is uh, that they have the sub menus down here so I can add a new sub menu item which would be sub men menu item and then sub sub menu item and click OK and now when I um, preview it if I go to button it says sub menu item and then I can do sub sub menu item and just continue on like that so our completely custom from scratch navbar nav is possible in Zara Web Designer 6 and hopefully by following my tutorial you'll be able to figure out how to do your own buttons.